Chesh, what up? This, this is the big homie. Big homie, he, what's going on? You're actually my big homie. Hey, you know how we? You know, you, you, you're one of my idols, actually. I, I, used to, I used to look up to you and I used to... I, used to, I, want, to I want to be this guy. As I used to. No, no, I mean, I'm older now. I failed to be this guy. <laughs> I, I failed to be this guy. Yeah. Yeah. AC the Moomba. Yeah, Tell Mumba. me what's happening right now. Well, you know, we're about to go into the Moomba files hosted by the Moomba. Alongside Big God's and Son, Son of God, Son of Son, you already know what it is. Say my name three times. Why? Number one, number two, number three. Best shows in the internet. <laughs> best show in the internet. Yo, young Lumumba's hot right now. He, he, he volcanic hot. He's hot he, right now. He is erupted. And I gotta say that he is raising the bar. Yep. And he's, he's telling them what it is like it is. Says Rajiri. Says Rajiri, you know that. And, and right now, this nigga right here. Yeah. This 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 the money nigga at the moment, man. Got, so got, this is the got, bag got, nigga at the moment. Key. Okay, so, so key the, welcome yeah. back. I haven't been I've been I've been I was blocked off Facebook for a month, but I'm back. <laughs> um, they've asked really? me to come on radio to be the voice of reason. I'm 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 debating my brother AC the moment today. Yeah. I mean, I, and you know, I mean, radio will never be the same after this, guys. Radio is not. It's never like, gonna be the same. We are not normal people. Okay. So it's got we got we got tea time going on versus. Versus the Lumumba files. Imagine that. Imagine It's going to be son crazy. Son of God, son of son. It's going to be son crazy. Son of God, son of so, son. Today we're we talking got a special guest. We got, Ooh, a, we got a special guest. We got a special guest. Ooh, I, I need to find this person. Hold up. This person is controversial. This person is controversial. What up, what up? So today we've got uh, a special guest on our show. Tune into ZFM Stereo. Um, hi, everybody. Look at, look, at, look at these lovely people in here. Look at these lovely people. But makeup and gamo, you got the beautiful Hollywood Lee and the pale Lee. They got shit there. Oh, yeah. So today we've got a special guest on the radio show. They need me. We've got a special guest on the radio show, so please tune into ZFM Stereo. The special guest, ladies and gentlemen, is the controversial, undisputable national spokesperson for the MDCT, Coupe. <laughs> Hello guys, how are you? Now you can send all your abuse on the messages. Ask me now what questions you're gonna ask because she's the main guest today. She's smiling, she got lipstick on. <laughs> and I guess it. And I guess it. Nah, but she's she looking kind of. So today we got Linda Masada on the show. Um, we, we, today, today's show is live on ZFM Stereo. Please tune in. Um, I have to cut the feed when we go on live. As you know, uh, we can't really be live whilst we're on radio. But today the guest is Linda Masarira, who will be myself, AC Lumumba. I will be sitting in as a sidekick for some reason. I've been asked to be the voice of reason. What are they thinking, right? <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. Uh, someone just called you a sellout, Linda. Send him a kiss, please. His name is by Ash Lodza. He's probably sitting in the UK somewhere. Say hi. Hi, how are you? Are you a sellout, Linda? No, I'm not. I have the right to freedom of association. I've got the what? right to freedom of assembly. Why I'm... aren't you a sellout, Linda? Why, why should I be selling out and who am I selling out? Linda, you said you were down with Chamisa. Come on, tell us. Why did you change your mind so much? Why did I change? Yes. Because there are certain aspects of... of okay, don't answer that. Listen, listen to the radio show. <laughs> listen to the radio show. Linda's going to tell us why she sold out. Uh, why people say she sold out. We're going to listen to Linda today. We're going to give her a chance. I'm not going to give her an easy go. I'm telling you now, she's going to have the toughest life of her. I think she's used these Ruvenicos, pussyfooting around her. But today, we want to understand why she said that she was down with Shamisa. And then she went and sold out and went to, and went to Coupe. So we want to understand what happened there. Uh, I want to know if... Are you a Zanupia project? Never been, never will. Okay, so we're going to ask her all those type of questions. It's going to be interesting. Uh, we have AC Lumumba helming the show. Hi everybody. So today, like I said, we've got Linda Masarira in the building. We've got a live on our show. This is the Lumumba Files. I am apparently Lumumba's sidekick for today. Uh, we've got my sister Linda. She's going to tell us why she sold out. Who did I sell out? She sold out. She sold out. Like seriously? You know, people don't remember that you were actually going to be fighting against MDC, weren't you? In the, in the, in the election. Yeah, I think they have forgotten all that. They've forgotten that, right? Yeah, so, they, so, 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 they so, don't so. even know what's about to go down. <laughs> so, so <laughs> it's going to be interesting. We're going to ask Linda why she sold out to, to, to Coupe. We're going to ask her that today live. Uh, we're going to ask her if she's a ZANU-PF plant. 
we're gonna ask her a few really difficult questions and hopefully you have answers for us. Today she see she she normally likes to shout at people, but today she can't shout at the shouters. Uh, like seriously? <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be a really good show. Thank you very much. Everybody, please tune in. It's a ZFM stereo. Go on ZFM stereo right now. Uh you listen to it on the radio on tune in. Otherwise, we're gonna by the time we get out. Smile, guys. Smile. You got it. Yeah. You got it. Oh, yeah. All right, more people. All right, let's do it. 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 Let's do until he's the world's biggest punk, yeah. Yeah. Right. All right, so. All right, thank you guys. All right, thank you. You ain't gotta go home, but you gotta get out of here. Thank we got Titch, the Midas Touch, yeah. in the building. He's helping the show. Yeah. Young yeah, AC yeah. Lumumba. I don't even know which one my mic is yet, but. Okay, I, I, do you want to drive it? Shall I drive it? You, you can drive it. Just, can I stand there? Can I use uh, the mic? AC, you can stand there. Yeah. You don't want to sit. No? Titch. All right, I got a mic. Yeah. I call. I'm the sidekick. Okay, so I can I can sit here. Yeah, I can still drive. Yeah, I can still drive, but I need um, another chair. Give me another chair. Let's swing that across, shall we? Yeah. Okay, can I stand here? Okay, stand here. Yeah. Okay, watch watch the channel for ZFM, guys. There's the channels there. 106. Uh, wait, wait. Where does the guest sit? Where does the guest sit? Where does the guest sit? People break down. They say my phone's out. On the desert we run it. All right, boys and girls, it's about to be show time. Oops. It's about to break things. <laughs> that's kind of what we do. We break, we break everything with touch. You're the hottest thing in the streets right now, homie. How you, how you feeling, man? I think the Zimbabwean people are the hottest people in the streets right now. I mean, our, we're at like the world circus right now. <laughs> like we're giving the world the pure joy and entertainment. Smile, Linda, goddamn. I'm always smiling. So you're going to be staying the whole time? Huh? Yeah, you're going to be staying the whole time. I'll be staying the whole time. It's only 30 minutes. What angles are we getting for this shot? Is it just one angle? Yeah. Don't. When, 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 get them in the shots too. Can it rove then? Can, can it rove? Yes. Can it rove? So you can get the guest. Okay. It needs to rove there. Yeah. You can, because you can actually angle yourself and get this. But I don't have a camera. Mm -hmm. Why don't I hold yours? <coughs> you know, it's like trying to get someone to hold yours and come in. For, for that? Someone else. Oh no, this is streaming. I mean, we need them to give us a stream. Is this for streaming or for? I uh, know this is not streaming. This, streaming. this this is for the show. Like, yeah. So, but I'm saying, how do you get the okay, guests you interactions if you did, they don't roll? I'm ready to roll. Alright guys, we're going live. Take it easy everybody. We're going live. Your recipe for a funky weekend. It's the weekend flavor. Yo, 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 yo. Mic check, one, two, three, testing. This is AC Lumumba, 8.30 p.m. every Thursday. Join me on ZFM Stereo. Welcome to the Lumumba file. And now it's ZFM. <laughs> okay, yo, 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 yo. Mic check, one, two, three, testing. This is AC Lumumba, 8.30 p.m. every Thursday. Join me on ZFM Stereo. Welcome to the Lumumba file. And now it's ZFM. <laughs> Just one, two, one, two, one, two, three, 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 two,
Good evening, Zimbabwe. My name is AC Lumumba. Most of you call it Lumumba, Lumumba, Lumumba. You know why we say it three times? Say One, two. Say One, two. I'm start again from the top. <coughs> Good evening, Zimbabwe. My name is AC Lumumba, Lumumba, Lumumba. Welcome to ZFM Stereo. These are the Lumumba Files. It's the first episode. I promise you this is going to be the most important program for you to tune in between now and we get and when we get to Zimbabwean elections. I will always have my studio sidekick. His name is Begotten Son, Son of God, Son of Son. Say good evening to the people, Kuda. Hey everybody, how you doing? This is me, Kuda Kwashi. How you doing? I'm uh, really happy to be here. Uh, AC, you're hot right now. Oh, Thank yeah. you for having us Zimbabwean politics. <laughs> We're going to make sure we make it fun, okay? So here's how the show works. If you're at home, if you're watching, if you have, uh, if you're watching us on Facebook, if you're listening to us on the radio, make sure <coughs> you go to the Twitter account. My Twitter account is at AC Lumumba. The hashtag will be hashtag TFL. So this is how it works. You know, if, if you've been following Zimbabwean politics, right, you would notice it's it's like one big. I don't know if I should call it a circus or if I should call it Orambona or and um. When I would score, when I like inter schools, yes, score us four This is what's happening in Zimbabwean politics right now. We're like a big inter schools of the scores with four where all political parties are contesting to see who can act a fool the most. So yeah. we're going to be looking at the, at the, at the events of the political uh, setup in the country. I have a very special guest today, uh, somebody who I have been following a lot, and I think. You guys have been following as well. She's probably one of the most spoken about women in Zimbabwean politics right now, outside of Tokozani Kupe. It is Tokozani Kupe spokesperson, Madam Linda Masari. Um, Masari, uh, welcome to ZFM. Round of applause, everybody. Say hello to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you very much, AC. How are your listeners, viewers on Facebook? Um, I think this is going to be an exciting show. Good. I want to ask you something, Linda. Like, like, so yeah, this is the question I have. Um, when you look at the craziness happening in Zanopia, when you look at the craziness happening in MDC, MDC A and MDC B and C and all of them, who who do you think has the most drama? Like, I am got my drama competition. Which political party has the most drama in Zimbabwe right now? I think it's Zanu Pf. I think it has got the most drama. It has it has always had a lot of drama. It has always been the craziest party. So it is still Zanu Pf. So Zanu Pf would take the awards for the craziest party in Zimbabwe right now. But let me tell you something. So a lot of people know this, right? So I am clearly Zanu Pf. A lot of people know that. Uh, and this is why I bring guests into the studio who are not clearly Zanu Pf, so we can always have this balance. I have never seen the type of things I am seeing in Zanopia right now. I mean, I, you know, I remember the general coming, uh, on, was it November, uh, the first day of the 14 days in November, when General S.B. Moyer came out on TV and said, we are removing and we're targeting the criminals around the president. That yeah. was the statement. And yeah. I almost feel as if now what, he has, what has happened is the people have now removed the other criminals that were around this president. <laughs> so Zanopia, if you you be a criminal around the president. Could I tell me your take on what's happening in Zanopia politics? We'll start with Zanopia. Don't worry, we'll talk about everybody else. But I want to know, what is your take on what is happening in Zanopia politics right now? You know what? Um, the Zanopia uh, primary elections to me, I was really excited about them. I thought this was a time for us to see the grand old machinery of Zimbabwe, the, the biggest party of our country, uh, rolling out and showing us their members, their cells, and coming out and voting for their chosen candidates. I yeah. thought we'd see some of the big wigs show their muscle, you know, the Chris Mutrangwas and, uh -huh. and so forth. Um, what I got in the long run was quite disappointed. Uh, you know, all of my predictions on Twitter actually feel flat, considering that it became quite <laughs> of a, sh a bit of a shambles. Um, it was not the, the smooth operating machine that we were so used to. But I think that may also be in its way of own cleansing. They're cleansing themselves. Mm -hmm. um, it was good to see some of the young people who, who, um, who got in. Uh, it's good to see what is in Japanese. No, no, no. Uh, 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 no, no,
my 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 so I'm happy. I'm very very happy. Linda so, doesn't like the word Japi. <laughs> no, that is very sexist. Yeah, I think that is one of the major reasons why I've got a problem with all the men in politics in Zimbabwe. Right. We have to get to a stage where we respect women. Right. Where we give them their space. And I'm actually very angry right now that as much as I hate ZANU PF, uh -huh. they failed to field at least 40% female candidates in the primaries. Uh -huh. And then now I've got my brother here Kuda, calling uh -huh. them Jampisi. I mean, every woman has got the right to. No, be. not all of them, when Jampisi, but the ones that we know when Jampisi, when Jampisi. I mean, it's almost yes. a word you only expect out of Tembo Melissa, but... <laughs> no, 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 I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, who calls the men who sleep around in Japisi? We've got, we've got ED with more than 50 children. Uh, who talks about that? We've got a lot of men, we've got AC here, who even speaks out boldly <laughs> that he's a, he's a womanizer. So why do you have to call another woman who's actually trying to make a difference and trying to run for political office at Japisi? I mean, that's uh, wrong. Uh, okay, uh, hold on, hold on, guys. Uh, let me help the conversation, okay? We're analyzing... What is happening in the European <laughs> primaries? Not who is which woman or who is what in Japanese. Anyway, is let's, in Japanese. Let's, let's keep it. Let's, let's keep it. <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell me. Okay. You, so you look at what's happening in Zanopia, um, and it's it's so easy for political parties to throw stones at what's happening in Zanopia because they haven't gone through their own primary elections yet. But I think there's a real underlining issue I want to ask you of here, which is. The cause of everything happening in ZANU-PF is it's a contest of people who believe either they are sacrosanct anointed to lead or they should lead or the people should love them anyway. How do we deal with this handicap where you politicians, almost you are forcing yourselves onto the people. You're experiencing this in your own party where there is whichever faction it is in your party is forcing itself in the people. How are we dealing with this issue of Okay, um, thank you for that question, AC. I think um, that is one of the other main reasons why I decided to join Dr. Kobe. Right. Because we've got a clear um, a template on candidate selection. Okay. We've got a clear template that we're not going to be subscribing to politics of patronage. We're going to be looking for quality leaders who are going to be chosen by the people in their wards, in their mm -hmm. constituencies. So you're going to go to 210 constituencies? Yes, we are. We are. We're actually in the process of doing that. Because, you see, if we don't understand the underlying problems in Zimbabwe, we're not doing justice to ourselves for posterity and for future generations to come. The biggest problem we have had in this country is politics of loyalty, politics of patronage. And when we go back to you, the question that you've asked about ZANU-PF, there is nothing new about the chaos and the disorderly conduct that's there. Oh, that, there is, is that has been the branding. Lot. Wait, 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 AC. That has been ZANU-PF's brand. The only thing that has changed is that the G40 that, was, that, ha, that had a bit of order in the chaosness is no longer there. There was right. actually, an, uh, um, uh, I think... Um, Chiwenga and Nangagwa actually thought that by removing four individuals, they had gotten rid of G40. Right. But G40 is a system. We all know that. That uh -huh. is why now they are failing even to have orderly conduct of things. I mean, right. that's, that's very rich coming from MBC to Kozani <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is I so mean, rich it's that you even, do you even, I mean, for you to even speak the word conduct, I mean, it's very rich. But, 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 let me, let me, let me ask this. Um, ZANU PF has a history of behaving this way, you say. Uh, MDC does not have a history of behaving this way, you say. So, maybe Mwayawe ZANU PF, or by MDC, because lately, Linda, MDC is behaving um, see, I would almost want to say like Zano PF, but I feel like it, I'm Zano PF is my level, so I don't know if I can get you to that level yet. But MDC is behaving um, more disorganized than we have ever seen you. Which MDC are you talking about? Oh, you right. see, that's okay. the problem. Oh, right, sorry, because there's a lot. Because, because so, there's a lot, right? From my side, from Dr. Cooper's side, I, right. I, I, to say that we're disorganized is an understatement. You are organized. We are organized. Right. We have refused to be an isoformic mimicry of ZANU-PF. We have refused to be a violent party. We have actually ensured that we are going to abide to Section 56 of the Constitution. We speak to gender equality. And you're going to see that after we're done with our candidate selection, after we're done with our primaries where we are not uh -huh. going to have efficient uh, consensus building, we are actually going to ensure that there is proper order and proper primary elections where principles of fairness and justice actually appear out.
I want to ask you something. Go ahead, brother. Um, do you think the chaos in the other MDCs, because the chaos is not an MDC coupe, it's only in other MDCs, does this benefit Zano PF or does this benefit the MDC? Who wins? Out of the chaos. Well, well look, I got, let me tell you who loses, my brother. The, the, it's the, 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 the people of Zimbabwe lose. You see, for a functioning democracy to run and run effectively, it needs an effective functioning uh, democratic opposition body. You know, it's almost as if we wish that the, dem the, the opposition got together, spoke, put aside their differences and actually gave a united opposition front so we can actually have policy so we can actually have a, a shadow minister of finance a shadow minister of health you know so we can actually start having policy arguments rather than this personality nonsense that we, we're bogged down with now as young Zimbabweans I, I think it's where we, nobody wins I think the, the, the Zimbabwean population is the one that is losing brother Linda I say you are as MDC, Tokozani Kupes MDC, you are literally Zano PF's campaign managers because everything you are doing is causing Zano PF. You are actually Zano PF surviving card. Zano PF is surviving because opposition is is in, is in, a, in, a, in a complete chaos. MDC Tokozani Kupe today, I read a statement from Obet Gutu saying there is no chance that MDC Kupe is going to get into a conversation with MDC Chamisa, let alone the other MDCs, on how you're going to work together. So you've drawn the line that you are not going to work together. This works to Zano PF's advantage. I'm trying to understand. Or you want Zano PF to actually win? Um, at least you said Obed Gutu. You didn't say the national spokesperson of the MDC team. Right. Because I am the official person who speaks to the official position of the party. This is fantastic exactly. because your vice president said one thing and the spokesperson is about to say He's another. about to contradict so, him. Go ahead. What, I hope what, we're recording. What we're recording. I'm basically saying yes. here is we, we haven't gotten to a stage where we have sitten down and actually said, who are we going to talk to about coalitions? Are we running it alone and everything else? So okay. you are basing that from a tweet and I'm not going to comment about it. I'm basing it from a statement. From your vice Just president. Because it came out on Twitter doesn't mean it's not a statement. Twitter is a platform. I am basing it on a statement by the vice president of your party, Katia Gotikari said. <laughs> and I am also st stating that with good authority that the official position on what we are going to do as uh -huh. a party will actually come out as a statement by the national spokesperson of the party who speaks to the position of the party. Would you go into a coalition with Zanapia? Never. You see, the, 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 these, this is my problem, uh, AC. Yeah? If you can see the South Koreans and North Koreans holding hands uh, on, the delim on the demilitarized zone in, 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 a, in a country where millions died fighting that war, we have these broad lines of I will never speak to anybody else. I think that's, that is the sad thing about Zimbabwean politics, that crazy polarization. Well, okay, so Linda says she will never go into a coalition with Zano PF. So I'm guessing you you agreed this is at your Congress. I mean, where did that position come from? Is that you as the spokesperson? I mean, is that an official position from the party? You're kind of already in coalition with the OPF, by the way, but please go ahead. What kind of coalition? Well, you're the, you're the, you're the coalition you're the, whereby you are helping. You're you are the, keeping the OPF stable. No, what you're trying to say here is you're trying to put words into my mouth. No. I am no, saying no, the words no, 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 that no, no, out AC, of your mouth. No, AC, hold on. We are a party that is defending constitutionalism that is defending um, labor rights, labor mm -hmm. justice, social justice. And that is what we're standing for. May, may I pick up and the Constitution any, quickly? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. Well, it's important if we pick up the Constitution, my sister. You know I love you a lot. Huh? Constitutionally speaking, you're supposed to be in the MDCT for five years before you're anointed, anointed as, uh, did I say anointed? Sorry, appointed as the spokesperson. How did that happen? Congress elects leaders. Right. right. Congress is the supreme decision-making body at any party wherever it is in the world. So Congress made their decisions. They nominated and elected Linda Masara as the spokesperson. Despite the party constitution. So is it not then crazy to then talk about party constitutionalism categorically? For, for me right now, I, I, I can't even speak about what happened in the closed session of the Congress because I was not a part of it. 
But so you don't know how unconstitutional you elected? There are things that happened in the, that I'm not yet privy to talk about right now because this, this, are, this is a case that is still in the courts of law in Zimbabwe and I cannot be speaking about it on a radio program and we have to respect that. I think you just copped out, my sister. This, I, I thought this was the no-spin zone, AC. You know what I think? I think politicians in this country, and we're going we're to take a little break and we'll deal with this. I think politicians in this country take advantage of people. They take advantage of people's ignorance, people's stupidity, uh, people's lack of uh, knowledge in order for personal gain. And I'm going to, as soon as we come back, I want you to tell me that this is not true and tell me how. And I think politicians will say anything, they will do anything for the supreme gain of power. And this is what we're seeing. I mean, Timba Mliswa will on one hand say, I am Zano PF campaigner <laughs> in Noto. And on another hand, say, I am not Zano PF. <laughs> like, I don't know how to demonstrate Zungu. <laughs> But as long as Zungu Rangu Rijinunz are something, you know it. You will have again Nelson Chamisa will come out and you will say, I am the leader of MDC for the purpose of pushing their agenda as a group, like why is Tokozani Kupe? Mchangwa today shocked me. I mean, Mchangwa My God. a letter on a, can, on a national letterhead. My God. Write a letter to a political party saying, And I refuse uh, to and accept. I refuse to accept. So I want to talk about do politicians in this country actually, are you just taking this country for a ride? Let's take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> water, water, water. <laughs> take, take a, take a young. Just, 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 yeah. yeah, we're live on ZFM. If you want to hear the stream properly on the radio station, uh, we're talking to Linda Masarida. This is the no spin zone. We don't, we don't, we're not afraid on this. We're ready, ready. We're ready to go. Ready to go. Let's go. Let's go. My station, your station. Right. So, so let me. Okay. Wait, wait. I haven't started. I'm waiting for it to come back in. Until Linda, hurry up. the philosopher which all okay, boys up. race <laughs> superior <laughs> and, and other This is the no spin zone. Zimbabwe is getting interesting. They're allowing us on radio now, guys. Wow. Okay, so, what, She's back. okay so we're going to the, the constitution. Yeah. We're going to uh, the um, the primaries. Mm -hmm. And we're going to the what the electorate wants that okay. they're not addressing. <coughs> okay, ready? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is AC Lumumba Lumumba Lumumba. You're listening to ZFM Stereo. These are the Lumumba <coughs> Files. I have in the studio with me the spokesperson of MDC, Tokozani Kupe, led. And I have in the studio with me Begotten Sun, the host of the Tea Party. I just asked a question before we took a break. And the question was, are politicians in this country just taking the people of this country on a ride. Saka ma Zimbabwe ni arungwe ndi suwa chero kwa kwa ngonze ande even pasi na wadrugwe nda kusina end. And I am giving uh, Linda the opportunity to respond as the spokesperson of MDC Kupe. Linda, please. Um, I will speak for my party. We are not um, taking people for a ride. We are actually committed to ensuring sustainable human development and um, we, we, we want to go back to the fundamentals of ensuring that every Zimbabwean has got equal opportunities to, to, to everything in this country. For a very long time, we've had politicians selling a dummy to the electorate. People are told things, fantasies, during the election time period. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of manifestos which are actually laid out, but they're never implemented. Mm -hmm. We have had policies which have never been implemented in this country. Mm -hmm. But we are saying we cannot continue taking people for a ride. And then there comes the question where people always ask me, why did you dump Chamisa at the last minute? And I've always responded and said, if it's you, AC, mm -hmm. you've got your girlfriend, you'll be engaged. 
And mm -hmm. then you realize, maybe two nights before your wedding date, that your girlfriend is actually sleeping with your best friend. Right. Would you continue with the marriage? So people have to understand that they had a lot of... So Chamisa was your boyfriend? I didn't say Chamisa was oh, my you boyfriend. Were it's an example. It's oh, an example. Right. I'm sorry. Chamisa is my brother. Just want the listeners to be clear. Chamisa is my brother. 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 Chamisa is my and we, we, we all have to find our ways to actually ensure that the people of Zimbabwe are safe. But how, do, I mean, how does a person wait, know? Wait, that? wait, 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 wait. So what I'm basically okay. saying is, I have the freedom of, 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 um, of assembly and association. Mm -hmm. And it is wrong for people to be very judgmental in a democratic state. Um, what okay. we've been trying to fight for in Zimbabwe since 2000, the legacy that the late Dr. Morgan Richard Ruchangirai left was the democratization agenda. And that is what we are still fighting for in 2018. That's fantastic, Linda, except that's not the question. Uh, and I'm glad you got a chance to explain it because I'm sure there's some people who wanted you to answer the question you've asked yourself. The question was, taking, a pe taking the people of this country on a ride. If I am a Zimbabwean voter and I am an 18-year-old young man who's just finished university, uh, my high school, about to go to university, how do I look at MDC Tokozani Kope led and say you are not taking me for a ride? How, how do, how, what's the litmus test to this? And I'll tell you, uh, let me put it in context. ZANU PF tomorrow launches its manifesto, okay? And I'm sure the manifesto is going to have excellent, excellent, excellent ideas on how we should move this country forward. I'm sure you're going to launch a manifesto with excellent, excellent, excellent ideas on how to move this country forward. But there is absolutely no consequence to you not doing it when you don't do it. ZANU-PF has been in power, yes. There is no consequence 